Hi, I'm Barry Lewis along with Mike Brown and welcome to our look ahead at week six of the high school football season. And Mike, we've got a blockbuster matchup in class 6A this week. Everyone's been talking about who's number one in 6A. Well, this week we'll have the game that decides it, at least for now. Yes, another game that decides it, at least for now. Jinx and, Jinx and Broken Arrow at Broken Arrow. And, and, you know, it looks like a pretty, pretty exciting matchup. And you know what the Jinx fans are saying? Um, Devin, Devin Thomas may not have played a lot of football up to now, but it sure looks like, uh, lo and behold, he's going to play this week, isn't he? Yes, he got back in action at Bixby last week in the second half and was very impressive with nine carries for 103 yards. It is an incredible running back matchup this week with Thomas, and Jenks has a pretty good running back itself. Yeah, uh, Trayvon Berry was, you know, um, had an exciting first half in the in the game they lost at DeSoto, and, and uh It'll sure be interesting to see who wins that battle this week. Yes, and last year special teams were the key factor in Broken Arrow's win over Jenks, so don't forget special teams that could again be the difference this week. And, and, and don't overlook the fact that the, the winner of this game uh, gets uh, home field for two weeks and the, and the loser uh, might show up in a bracket where they don't want to be. Right, that's right. It has big playoff implications. And Mike, you've got a real big 5A showdown that you're going to be seeing on Friday night. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, exciting. Uh, Claremore playing at East Central in a, in a key district matchup. Uh, East Central um, with, the, with the forfeits, I, I still think that they're in pretty good shape in their district because they went and, and beat Coweta on the road last week and, uh, and uh, that, didn't, that won't count against their forfeits. Claremore is 5-0 uh, and for the first time in 17 years. Uh, so that's going to be an exciting see we, I'm looking forward to seeing Stan Von Taylor for the first time. Stan Von Taylor, what an outstanding game last week he had at Coweta. It might have been the best individual game I've seen this year. He just did it all in all three phases of the game. He was a shutdown corner, did, had a great game at wideout, and was made a big impact on special teams. So you can see why OU is so interested in him and why he's committed to OU. As uh, Coach Bobby Klink said, Stan Vaughn could help OU right now. Uh, yes, he probably in the receiving core, if not on defense. And you're talking about how the forfeits would affect East Central. As Stan Vaughn said, it just gives them more motivation. East Central is still in the driver's seat, or it controls its own destiny. A win would put it in the driver's seat in the district race. So if they win out, the forfeit won't hurt their playoff chances at all. Mike, uh, in 4A, uh, you've got an interesting matchup or two you want to talk about? Well, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, Katusa plays McLean, and in District 4A3, there are, you know, when, when you line it up and look at it, it looks like there are five or six teams that probably deserve to make the playoffs, and, and uh, some of those are not going to make it. And Katusa and McLean in a in a in a one and one a matchup of one and one teams that that could go a long way toward toward deciding one of the playoff berths, and uh, um, Ulaga visits uh, Cleveland in a in a battle of undefeateds in, in the same district, uh, and uh, Cleveland is five and continues to win five and zero, oh, and the first time since 1972 for the Tigers to be at five and zero. Oh. So that was 40, 40 years ago. I think I barely remember that. All right, and talking about even though we're just starting the second half of the regular season, a couple of 6A games where almost must-win situations as far as making the playoffs, it's Bixby at Sepulpa and Stillwater at Booker T. Washington. For Mike Brown, this is Barry Lewis. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next week as we look at high school football.